George Lucas taught me that the details can always be added later. Welcome to Jen's Writing World. If you have a story to tell, you are in the right place. Let's do it 10 minutes at a time. Today, I just want to remind you that if you get bogged down in the details and that makes you unable to finish your first draft, you kind of have it backwards. Finish the first draft first and you can always go back and insert the details or not. I mentioned in the hook that George Lucas taught me this and this is true. Anyone who has seen the original Star Wars trilogy, and let's go back to the theatrical release of episodes four, five, and six, four and five especially, I think he had a little more in six, um, will notice that there's a lot of white, there's a lot of sand, there's not a lot of details. Now, our imaginations entered the details, so we saw this amazing world that he wanted us to see. but like in the Bespin gas city um, in Empire Strikes Back, the walls are blank. There's nothing out the windows. Occasionally you might see a ship drive fly by, but it is a very rare thing. And the reason was, was because George Lucas didn't have the technology or the money to put in the details that he wanted to. But that didn't stop him from making one of the greatest movies of all time. Instead, he focused on finishing the movie. Get it out there. And, because he got lucky, when many years later he got to remaster it, he had the technology, he had the money, and he put in all of the luscious details that he really wanted in the first go around. But is it a better movie because of all the details he added? No, it's not. The important thing is that your story gets finished. Details are important, but they're not necessarily more important than getting it done. Also, remember there is a thing called purple prose and all respects to George Lucas, I think he went a little bit into the purple prose of adding details, especially in the prequels, which I will never talk about. But in your story, maybe just a little dabbling of detail is all that you need because what matters is the character, the plot, and the setting that is important to the character, but not the setting that is just out there to be enjoyed. If it doesn't affect the story, it doesn't need to be in the book, or at least it doesn't need to be in the first draft. Let's go right. Remember, don't worry about the details. If you know them, that's great. If you don't, getting the words on the page is what is important. Let's start writing. I have 10 minutes on the timer. Three, two, one, start.
All right, 10 minutes is up. I admit to getting a little stuck in the details, but that's only because I couldn't decide if it was important or not. I hope you had a great time writing. I will say personally, since I have a lot of research to do for my second draft to get the details right, I am certainly glossing over the details in my first draft. However, I am on track to have this book done by April 30th, and that makes me very happy. If you are also happy with the progress of your book, or just happy that you got to write today and want to do it again, hit the subscribe button, ding the bell to get notifications. A like is always appreciated, and I do hope that you will share the channel with other people who might get bogged down in the details, because the best thing that we can do is encourage all writers to finish. On to today's quote. Today's quote is by Nicholas Sparks. I don't think I have to tell you who he is, right? And this is what he said. Writing well, even for successful authors, is never easy. I believe that is true. Writing may not be easy, but it can be fun, even in the difficult times. And the most fun you can have writing is to finish. So let's all try and do that, okay? So long from Jen's writing world. Until we meet again, write, write, write. Thank you.